the game of stress And you know that it's kick that door Woo! Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Season 8, Episode 23 of Kit Kat Go. Glad to have y'all with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. And for those of y'all who are staying home during this uh, um, ep uh, this pandemic, uh, pandemic, I should say, um, y'all just enjoy yourselves. I pray that you guys will get better soon from the coronavirus because it's a tough situation. Um, yeah. over what three hundred thousand cases so far in the wow. world. So we hope that y'all guys stay safe. Please wash your hands and make sure y'all sanitize stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, with th that all said, we have our returning champion in the form of Andrew Hawking, who has a one game or rather five game winnings total of. Four hundred and seven thousand one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Yeah. And are you ready to make it six in a row? Let's let's. I'm ready to go, Ronnie. I'm ready to go. Good luck to you. And playing against Andrew is Dante Pittman. How you doing, Dante? I'm doing good, Ronnie. And you? Good, good, good. Y'all ready? To, <laughs> Y'all ready to play tic tac toe? Yes, sir. All right, let's uh, see what the nine categories are tonight. We have zoology, the bonus category, three-part question. Answer the three-part question correctly. You'll get another turn immediately. We have pop hits, Disney movies, baseball, opponent's choice, the Bible, secret category. Now, you answer the question in the secret category correctly. You'll double every dollar that is in that jackpot, and then we have the mega secret category. If you choose the mega secret category and you correct in the mega secret category, the um, bonus is at seventy-five thousand dollars pocket change, and you will get to keep that, win or lose. And we'll add two thousand dollars to the pot. If the bonus, if the mega secret category happens to fall in the center box, it's one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and three thousand will be added to the pot. Okay. All right. all right, with that all said, Andrew, where would you like to begin? All right, Rodney, let's go to the bonus category. Go with the bonus category again. You know the idea. I don't even have to explain it. Here it is. All right. As most of you know, the pandemic, the coronavirus, is going on in the world. Okay? Yes. I want yes. you to give me three of the top ten States, and I repeat again, three of the top ten states with the severe cases of the coronavirus for that box and extra torrent. And this is according to Fox News, okay? Go ahead. All right. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say Texas. No, that's wrong. I'm sorry. Can I name them all, Rodney? Go ahead. Uh... I would say Illinois. Illinois is number five, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, California. California is number three. Okay. Uh, Florida. Florida is number six. Okay. Uh, uh, I would say Oregon. Oregon's not on the list. Washington is number two. Uh, New York. New York is number one. Oh, it, oh, it's now. very quiet out there. But y'all got a good chunk of them that is good. So I'll go through them ten through one. Number ten is Massachusetts. Number nine is Georgia. Number eight is Louisiana. Number seven is Michigan. Number six is Florida. Number five is Illinois. Number four is New Jersey. Number three is California. Number two is Washington. And number one is New York. So those are the top ten. 
Alright, let's shuffle up that board. It's an open board for you, uh, Dante. I don't think Disney Okay, Dante won Disney movies. And it's a two-part question. Alright, Disney okay. movies, a two-part question, and we will give you the extra time, okay? First, in what decade did, did Disney release Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Is it A, the 1940s, B, the 1920s, C, the 1950s, or D, the 1930s? That's the first one. And the second one, how many wishes does the genie grant to Aladdin when he emerges from the magic lamp? Is it A, 3, B, 5, C, 1, or D, 4? Here's your time to think about both of them, Dante. Okay. Which part you answer first? I'll answer the second one. All right. How many wishes does the genie grant to Aladdin when he emerges from the magic lamp? Is it A3, B5, C1, or D4? I've seen the movie many times. Three wishes. Three is right. Now for the center box. In what decade did Disney release Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Is it A, 1940s, B, 1920s, C, 1950s, or D, 1930s? I will say 19... What's your answer? 1940s. 1940s is wrong. Oh, can I, can I uh, see the answer, Rodney? Yes. It was the 1930s. It was the 1930s, yes. Ah, oh, decade it off. Yep, 1930s. And we have nothing on the board. We shuffle. Andrew. Three. What's the... Tr th which one? Three. I can't hear you. Oh, no. This category. I think he said bonus category. Yeah, All right. I heard him. All right. I, heard him. He said, I think he said bonus. Yes, he said bonus category. Right, right. All right, three-part question. Answer that three-part question correctly, Andrew. You get another turn. Now, this time, I want you to give me three of the ten countries that is plagued with the coronavirus for that box an extra turn. Give me three of the top ten countries that is, compl that is plagued with the coronavirus for that box an extra turn. Go ahead. Uh, Italy? That's number two. Huh? Say that again. I think he said he China. China. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to hear him say it, y'all. What did you say? Okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. China. China is right, and one more. Um, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say Canada. Canada's wrong. I'm sorry. Not in the top ten. The United States. United States is number six. Uh, UK or Europe? Okay, UK. Europe is the continent. UK is number ten. Uh, it's quiet out there, so I'm gonna go ahead on with the rest of the list. So we have number 10 as the United Kingdom, number 9 is Switzerland, number 8 is South Korea, number 7 is France, number 6 is the United States, number 5 is Iran, number 4 is Germany, number 3 is Spain, number 2 is Italy, and the number 1 country with the most cases of the coronavirus is China. China. Okay, we uh, shuffle up that board. Uh, oh well, oh well. Dante. Uh, right, let's try. And Repeat. Now try Disney movies again. Going to try Disney movies again. Question on Disney movies. During what century is the Disney film 
the Hunchback of Notre Dame set in? Is it A, the 15th, B, the 13th, C, the 17th, or D, the 19th? I'll say the 13th century. 13th is wrong. Oh, no. Oh, I want to take a guess and say the 15th. The 15th century is right. It's oh, right. Ah, oh, dang it. And we have nothing on the board. We shuffle. Oh, man. Sorry, Lord. All right, Andrew. I got to try again, the bonus category. Okay, bonus category again. Here's the bonus category question. Give me three of the five basic food groups for that box in the extra turn. Can you re repeat that again, please, Rodney? Give me three of the five basic food groups for that box in the extra turn. It has to be... Uh Breads and grains. Yes. Meat. Okay, that's protein, yes. And dairy. Right, good job. Finally. Yeah. There, we go. there we go. And we can't forget fruits and vegetables. Yes, fruits and vegetables. Those are the three of the five food groups. 2,000 is in the pot. And because you got that bonus category right, you get to pick again, Andrew. Okay, okay. Now we're to. Um, let's go to, uh, let's, let's try pop hits, please. Let's try pop hits, okay. Question on pop hits is this. And this is 90s pop hits here. Oh, good. <laughs> Who won the Grammy Award for Album of the Year in 1999 with Supernatural? Is it A, Eric Clapton? B. Everlast, C. Bob Dylan, or D. Santana? I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say D. As in dog? Yes. Santana? Yes. That is right. Good job. We got it. Oh, wow. We have $4,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Oh, wow. All right, Dante. I have to go with baseball for the block. Two-part question in baseball, and we will give you extra time, Dante. Here it is. Okay. First, from 2003 to 2008, Ned Yost was the manager for which Major League Baseball team? That's the first one. And the second one, which of the Major League Baseball players has the most career home runs? Is it A, Hank Aaron, B, Ken Griffey Jr., C, Babe Ruth, or D, Willie Mays? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, which one you want to go first, Dante? I'll try the first one. Which of these major league players have the most career home runs? Is it A, Hank Aaron, B, Ken Griffey Jr., C, Babe Ruth, or D, Willie Mays? I'm going to take a guess and say Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth is wrong. I'm sorry. Can I get that guess wrong? Yes. It's Hank Aaron. It is Hank Aaron, yes. And from... And from 2003 to 2008, Ned Yost was the manager for which Major League Baseball team? Uh, didn't Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, break a record, some kind of record? Well, I have, the question is, which of these Major League Baseball players has the most career home runs? That's the question. It was Hank Aaron. Oh, okay. And this question is, from 2003 to 2008, Ned Yost was the manager for which Major League Baseball team? Very quiet out here. Here it is. Milwaukee Brewers is the answer. Milwaukee Brewers. Okay. We shuffle up the board. It's Andrew's turn. Let's go to the mega secret category for the win. Oh. All right, here we go. Mega secret category. You get this question right in the mega secret category. You have to answer two of them. It'll be tic tac dough seven thousand dollars, and we're gonna give you a hundred 
and $50,000 bonus, when we tally that all up, your total will be at $557,125, okay? All right. All right, I'm going to roll the die. You won't know what the category is. Tell me when you want me to roll it. Let's roll. Okay. Your mega secret category questions. Which of these is not a triathlon sport? Is it A, swimming, B, cycling, or C, rowing? That's the first one. And the second one, what kind of animal is Sonic Sega's mascot? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, Andrew, which part you want to answer first? The first one has to be rowing. Rowing is right. And for Tic Tac Doe, $7,000. And we're going to add $150,000 to it for that bonus for the Mega Secret category jackpot. What kind of animal is Sonic Sega's Matt Scott? It has to be a hedgehog. Yeah, Tic Tac Go! Wow, that was a good game. That was a good game. Nicely done. Nicely done, Andrew. That's six games in a row. $7,000. For winning the game, that's a total of $414,125, $150,000 for the Maker Secret Category jackpot in the center box. So you have $564,125, you want to go ahead against that dragon shortly. Well, da right. Dante will definitely have you for another game, okay? Uh -huh. Alright, uh... Andrew, you ready to go ahead against that uh, dragon? I'm ready to go, Ronnie. Let's do it. That means we do not have to deal with that category for the rest of the evening. Thank goodness. Yep. Thank goodness. So the jackpot for the next episode is $25,000 for the Mega Secret category jackpot. All right, so here we go. We're going to do the Beat the Dragon game. If you're ready, Andrew, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Don't do that, Dante. Dante, Dante. Dante. Yes. You know, every time you do that, we don't hear the song. I know, I'm sorry. It's just fun to listen. Okay, so please, please let us hear the song. All right. Okay. Okay. So, Sorry about that. Okay, Andrew, well, welcome to the Beat the Dragon game. We have nine numbers on the board, and the object is for you to reach $10,000 or more or get the ticket attack before seeing the dragon. If you get to $10,000 or more before seeing the dragon, we have these prizes for you. Alright, here's what you can win next year. You can win a Queen Anne console piano, a Heritage Volume slash 50 inch TV, a console piano, a computer cabinet slash a computer, just a Boston, a Tahiti, and a Tic Tac Go Pop Up. It's worth $34,003 if you need to drag it to luck. Thank you, Dante. Now, you managed to get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, Andrew. We give you a $47,500 bonus. During your first two picks is $95,000. We give you a shot in a new car, Andrew. You ready to see if you can pile on to those windings? I'm ready, Ronnie. Let's Here we go. Okay. Andrew. All right. Uh, make your call. What does the dice say? My dice said lucky seven. Let's see what's behind number seven. Five thousand dollars. Okay, do we stop or go? Let's keep going and we're going. My dice say number four. Let's see what's behind number four. Twenty-five hundred dollars. You have seventy-five hundred. You only need another twenty-five hundred. You'll win the prize package. Let's keep going. What's the next call? My dice say number six. Let's see what's behind number six. There's the tag now. If you find the tag, 
We give you a $47,500 bonus. You have a shot and a new car. What do you do now? I'm going to go on and my dice say an uh, itty bitty two. Itty bitty two. We need that to be attacked for you to get the cash bonus. Let's see what's buying number two. Come on, no. No. No good. That dragon came up on you. Let's see where the attack was. Oh, the dragon's cave. The dragon's cave number eight. So that means that the jackpot goes up to fifty-two thousand five. Hundred dollars, and we're gonna have more tic tac dough right after this, y'all. Don't go away.